Welcome to Physics with Mr. Brazil. Today I'm going to show you how to do roller coaster problems. So let's start. Um, let's start with a roller coaster. It goes down, up, and down. Something like this. I almost make that a little more smoother curve. All right. Let's have the roller coaster starting up here at a height, oh, let's just say 25 meters. And let's give ourselves two sig figs. So we're going to find out what its velocity is right here at the bottom, at position one. And let's find the velocity at position two also. OK? Th something that you need to remember, that the law of conservation takes place here. In other words, the amount of energy initial is equal to the amount of or the sum of the uh, energies final. So what this equation is going to break down to is we have gravitational potential energy initial at the very top. We have kinetic energy initial at the top, but in this case it's zero because there's no motion. It's going to get motion from dropping. It's going to be equal to gravitational energy final uh, whatever position it's at, plus the kinetic energy final at whatever position it's at. Okay? So let's tackle this particular problem for position one. So at one, we have UG naught, okay, gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy naught, again, zero, equal to Gravitational uh, potential energy at position one, final, plus the kinetic energy, position one, final. So let's put this into its proper formula. Mass times gravity times the height, the 25 meters. Mass times gravity times the height here which at one, fortunately, is zero. Okay, so this one doesn't exist. It all completely drops out. Plus one half mass times velocity squared at position one. Okay, so this drops. What's sweet about this, regardless, is that mass cancels completely. So this equation comes down to gravity times height, one half, V position one squared, okay? Let's solve for V at position one, which is gonna be the square root two GH, which is equal to two times, 9.80 meters per second squared times 25 meters, square root the whole thing, and what we'll get is 22 meters per second at this position. So at this spot, when the roller coaster comes down from that first hump, it'll be going at approximately 22, point, or 22 meters per second. Now let's do for position two. So at position two, It's up here. Well, now we're going to have kinetic energy plus potential energy at the same time. So since our uh, initial potential energy and kinetic energy up here, we go right back to potential energy naught plus kinetic energy naught, again, equal to zero, equals potential energy, OK, final at position two plus kinetic energy at position two, final. Okay, let's put this into our equation format. Mass times height, that initial height, equals mass times gravity, height at position two, plus one half mv squared at position two. Again, what's sweet about these problems is that the 
mass cancels out. You can factor it out from the right side, divide it out completely from both sides. What's going to happen here is this is going to subtract from this side. So I'm going to factor out G. I'm going to have H minus H2 equals 1 half V squared at position 2. Well, to solve this is much like 1. In this case, V at position 2 is going to equal 2G H minus H2 square root. Plug in our values and we should have a velocity. So 2 times 9.80 meters per second squared. 25, 25 meters minus, oh I didn't put a height for that. Well let's do that now. So let's give it a height of 11 meters. Let's give this a height of 11 meters. So let's subtract 11 meters. Square root this whole thing. And what we should get is 17 meters per second. So down here, it makes sense. It should be much faster because we're using all this potential energy to get down to this position. Some of the energy was used up here the potential energy to get into the kinetic energy. So it should be a little less, a little slower. Kind of a cool little problem. So let's uh, put something a little different this time. Let's do something like putting a loop. Everybody loves going on a roller coaster that has a loop. Well, let's see what happens in this case. So let me change a couple things. I'm going to change this height also. This is all going to get changed. So let's erase this. Alright, so in this case, we're going to have a loop. Let's, uh, oh, I guess I am going to use the 25 meters height. I'm going to have a loop. I kind of pre made this. So I have a loop here, and this loop is going to be 10 meters in diameter. 10 meters in diameter. And we want to know the velocity, the velocity of the roller coaster at that point. And then we should test to see whether it's fast enough so it's not to fall down. That would be wonderful. We don't want people falling. Well, this problem is tackled much like the other ones that we did, especially problem one. So let's go with it. So we have gravitational potential energy initial plus the kinetic energy initial equal to the pot gravitational potential energy final at this point plus the kinetic energy final at that point. Well, this one again is zero. Let's lay out our formula. Mass, gravity, the original height equals mass, gravity, H, I'm going to call this H1. So let's call this H sub 1, H sub 1. So the 10 meters, H sub 1, plus 1 half mass times velocity squared. Again, the mass is cancel. That's kind of interesting, huh? Okay, so let's bring this over. H minus H1, 1 half, oops, no mass, we lost that, it canceled out, squared, okay, so V equals 2G H minus H sub 1, square root, let's put our values, 2 times 9.80 meters per second, 25, meters minus 10 meters and the square root. Okay? And let's see what we get. Punch it into your calculator. You should get 17 meters per second. Now let's see if this is fast enough. Let's see if this is fast enough to keep it from falling. Let's go. Well, if we take this 
as an object going in a circle, the f normal from the, from the top here, it would be zero, because it's not exerting a force. We have force of gravity, and what we're trying to fight, so as not to fall, is circular acceleration, but it's going to be in terms um, of MAR. That's all, MAR. So let's write this out. We're going to sum this in the y direction. So this is going to be FG equals MAR, negative, because we're downward. But gravity is downward, negative. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. Both are negative, so the negatives cancel. So MG equals V squared over R, M, sorry, M's cancel. So a little bit ahead of myself there. So this will be equal to gravity, velocity squared over R. So V in this case, V in this case is equal to the GR square root. So 9.80 meters per second squared. Okay, and R in this case is going to be the radius at the point, this point, the radius from here to here. So that's going to be 5. So 5, let's put 5.0 meters. And our minimum velocity for this will be, um, I already punched it in the calculator, 7.0 meters per second. So yeah, this is going to go fast enough. It's going to give you a fun trip around a loop. So this is how you solve uh, roller coaster problems with uh, a loop in it. Keep reading about physics, study it, and learn more about these roller coaster problems out there. And why don't you look up why roller coaster loops aren't completely in a circle. They are slightly teardrop. Kind of cool to read. Search it out on the web. There are plenty of YouTube videos who explain that. Enjoy.